Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for another episode of the Appalachian Outlaws Pulling Series here at Weakland's Mechanic Shop in Chess Springs, Pennsylvania. On today's episode, we have the Hot Rod Diesel four-wheel drive trucks with the Outlaw Farm Trackers as well. Gonna be a great episode. Be sure to subscribe, and here we go. And kicking off today's show is going to be the Outlaw Farm Tractor Division. We're going to be kicking off the class with Dave Fisher. He is the current points leader in this class after four pulls. Let's see what he can do here. And a solid run put down. He's going to end up keeping the distance as well. 291.28 going to be the distance for him there. Got it going pretty good. Had a really smooth track to work with here being the first puller. And I bet he thought he couldn't get much better than that. He's pretty confident, so he's going to keep it. 291.28. And coming out on the track now, this is Steve Hanks, the ninth place tracker in the division so far for 2023. A good running case called Aggravation Case. Let's see what he can do here. Pulling it up, about to take off. Calls that tractor aggravation case. And we'll take a look at your replay here. 239.58 for aggravation case. The tractor just did not want to come completely to life for him there towards the middle portion of the track. That really hurt him on the distance, but A to B pass, and that keeps him in the top 10 for the points race so far in 2023. And next up, this is a new tractor for 2023. This is Zach Mitchell. The Mitchell pulling team started with a small block high output truck this year, sold it. Now they have a John Deere. Let's see what they can do for the first ever Appalachian Outlaws Hook Forum. And not a bad maiden voyage. They've had a couple test hooks on this tractor so far in 2023. But a first hook ever on the point circuit's going to land them at 256.74. And I'm sure they'll get better and better as they keep on hooking this tractor, figuring some things out. They'll be right up there at the top of the pack when it's all said and done. But a really good, respectable run down there for Zach Mitchell. And next up is going to be one of the top running tractors in the class. This is Rich Weimer. Currently number eight in the points race for 2023. He missed out on a pool at Clark's Mills and at Cookport. So that's kind of setting him back a little bit. But let's see if he can make up some ground here. And not a bad run at all. And that's actually going to be enough to take over your lead here. We'll look at the replay in just a moment. 295.18. Had a big wheelie going for him there towards the starting line. But smoothed it out. Got a lot of track speed down through there. Veered off towards the right side of the track. Spinning out 295.18. We'll see if it stands. But what a great run put down by Rich Weimer. But if there's anybody that can take the lead, it's going to be Butch Ansel. Here he is, a top-running tractor, top three in the points race so far for 2023. Here he goes. Put 
Oh, man, and a solid run put down. 299.15, gonna be the distance for him there, and he had a ton of track speed, spun out hard, ran the same line as Rich Weimer and just edged him out by about four feet. So not a bad run at all, and your new leader gonna be right there, Butch Antle. Next up's gonna be Kevin Fogey, another top running tractor in this class. He's currently number seven in the Appalachian Outlaws points race, and here he goes. Oh man, and I think that's going to be good enough to get him in the top five so far. 286.90, going to be the distance for him. And he's following that road down through there, giving it all she got. A great run put down and good enough for the top five. 286.90. Next up, going to be Dennis Trout, a good-looking tractor there. His maiden voyage for 2023. And his first ever run with the Appalachian Outlaws Pulling Series. Spooling it up, about to take off. Let's see if he can get out there. Distance to beat 299.15. Let's see if he has enough. And there's his maiden voyage for you, 264.2. Just got it out of the shop and brought it to Weaklands. Got down the track and he's going to edge out some competitors with that distance, but still about 30 feet shy of the leader. But a respectable run put down by Dennis Trout. Well, not too bad of a run for the first time out of the barn here tonight. And here it is, rumor has it, Sam McWilliams, he's been having a great 2023 season so far, he missed out on Cookport, but he made Listy and Clark's Mills, and man, he's on a tear, let's see what he can do here. And I'll tell you what, he did what he had to do there, 264.96. He had a really good takeoff, came out hard, had a good wheelie ride in for him, didn't have as much power towards the end to keep spinning out like his competitors did. But man, when you look at the grand scheme of things and you look at the points race, this is going to get him creeping on the top five, just knocking on their door and saying he's coming. So not a bad run at all, 264.96 and a solid finish there for him. Not bad. And next up is going to be Wes Banky. And this is a guy who's had an amazing 2023 season so far. He had a great finish at Cookport, an awesome finish at Lizzie, and he did very good at Clark's Mills. Let's see if he can keep the momentum going. Not bad at all, going to get right up in there, less than 10 feet away from the top three. 283.78, going to be the final distance for him there. And man, he had a wild looking run there, but he finished strong, got right up in there, and that's going to solidify a top three position in the points. And here's another really consistent tractor that might be able to do it, Nathan McGill with Nader. They've been battling a couple issues with this tractor so far for 2023. They think they got it all figured out. They had a great run just a couple weeks ago. Let's see if it goes. And not a bad run for him. He ran a very similar line to the other trackers, but instead of going to the right, he went to the left. 287.15, gonna be the final distance for him there. A solid run put down. Gonna be good enough for a top five spot so far. And next up in your last pooler of the class is gonna be Chris Bencotti. 
just a couple weeks ago in Clarks Mills, Pennsylvania at Destination 300. He was way out there past 330 feet. He's going to have to come up with a monster pass like that again to take over the lead. Let's see what he can do here. And 299.15 gonna be the distance to beat. He barely misses it. 295.65, just about four feet shy of taking over that first place. But man, what a great run put down by him. And when it's all said and done, he's gonna be number two in the points race as well. So he did what he had to do there to keep on fighting for that points championship. But we'll take a look back here at your winning run. Butch Ansel, 299.15 for your winning run. Butch coming to you, number four in points so far to international fans, here you go. Butch had a little double remember who his tra what his tractor was the night when he got here to register. They asked him what it was and he drew a blank. So, uh, the group was the one. So here's a look at your results for the Outlaw Farm Tractor Division, a great class of Outlaw Farm Tractors. Up next is gonna be your Hot Rod Diesel Trucks. And next up on today's show is going to be the Hot Rod Diesel Four-Wheel Drive Truck Division, an exciting class of these trucks here tonight. And kicking it off is Garrett Brooks. He's currently tied for the 2023 points race with Brandon Kipple. So this is going to be a barn burner here tonight to see who can take over the lead. Spooling up, getting ready to take off. Let's see what he can do. And man, what a run to kick things off, 322.39. You saw him come off, and as soon as those tires got a spinning, he had a ton of track speed going down through there. Veered off towards the left side of the track and got it out there. And there's going to be your mark to beat. An incredible first to hear the class. 322.39, 28.4 miles per hour. And this is an exciting thing here. This is Jeremiah Calloway. This is his hot rod diesel four wheel drive debut here tonight. He said in the pits he just got the truck back together and was ready for its maiden voyage just a little bit ago. So he got it out on the track now, he's spooling up. Let's see what he can do here, his debut run in the hot rod diesel division. And I'll tell you what, for a maiden voyage down the track, not too bad. 288.92, gonna be the distance for him there. He got out there and started rolling a lot of black smoke out through the hood. 288.92. And next up is gonna be a veteran puller, Tom Birdie. He goes to a lot of truck pools. He pecks at a lot of truck pools. He drives his trucks at a lot of truck pools. Let's see if the experience can pay off for him. This is White Trucks Matter, the big dog's truck sales powered machine. Here he goes. And 
I'll tell you what, he took a big gamble there. The leader went down the left side of the track there and got it out there really good, but Tom moved over, went down the right side of the track. Gonna hurt him a little bit and set him about 20 feet back from the leader cone so far. 296.1, gonna be the distance for him. 296.10. And next up, this is a fan favorite in the Hot Rod Diesel division. This is Pocket Change, driven by Greg Slingloff. A top running truck in the division. Still looking for his first win in the 2023 season. So let's see if tonight's the night for him. Spooling up. Here he goes. Man, and that truck, it shut off at the end, but if he would have kept on going, I think he would have had it. 307.24, still a really good run laid down. Gonna be good enough for second place so far tonight. Not bad at all for the pocket change truck. You see him sitting there, 307.24. And next up, this guy is also tied for the first place in the points, Brandon Kippel. A good looking Dodge Cummins powered machine there. Let's see if he can take over the number one spot and number one in the points. Here he goes. And he's knocking on his door. Is it enough? We'll take a look right here at the replay in just a moment. 317.1. Gonna be about five feet shy of taking over the lead here. But man, a monster pass put down. He took the center portion of the track, veered off towards the left just a tiny bit. And man... That's gonna be a tough truck to beat right there. So first place still 322.39 second. Brandon Kippel 317.1. But here he is, this is Joe Espy. A top running truck in the division. He placed in the top five in points last year with the Appalachian Outlaws. So let's see what he can do. Spooling that Dodge Cummins up and taking off. Here he is, bad company, Joe Espy. And a solid run laid down, not quite enough to take over the lead, but I think he's going to be good enough for the top five. We'll take a look at your replay here in a second, but the distance for him is going to be 305.04. That is going to be good enough for a top five. Actually, a fourth place finish so far. So a really good run put down by him. We'll take a look at your replay one last time for Bad Company, Joe Aspie. And next up is going to be Damian Carter. This is a 2.6 Pro Street truck. He normally doesn't pull with the Appalachian Outlaws, but tonight he's here. He's going to see what he got. Look at that power stroke spooling up here. 322.39, the distance to beat. Let's see if he got what it takes. And the 05 Power Stroke's going to get out there at 287.88. A solid run put down, but man, he's going to be about 40 feet shy of the first place position tonight. 
but a respectable run put down. And next up, this is Jeff Weimer, a top running truck in the division. He had a couple wins in 2022, but looking for his first win in 2023. Tonight might be the night for him. This is the Sander Concrete, bad for business. Oh man, and not what you want to see at all. He was gunning down the track, eyeing up that distance of 322.39, but man, had some bad luck there in the driveline. Going to be stopped at 214.26, which is going to bring up our next puller, Matt Barron. This truck's called down to the wire, making his second run on the Appalachian Outlaws circuit. And spinning out there at 298.55. This is a new truck for 2023, and man, is it running good so far. That down-to-the-wire Dodge is making a name for itself so far, creeping into the top five. And we're towards the end of the class here, and no better way to finish it off than your 2022 points champion, Mike Peronish with Bone Stock. Two six trucks just one year ago. Put on the big turbo charger, and he was your point champion back in 2022 with the Appalachian Outlaws Pulling Series. The Green Mile Truck. Yes, Josh uh, Bordis' is old truck. He's had a lot of fun with Josh, and... Uh, And man, not what you want to see here, having a little bit of complications on the starting line and a heartbreaking night here for the Peronish pulling team. Getting towed off the track there, not what you want to see, but one thing you want to think of is that all the pullers get a drop hook if you're running for points. So this is a very heartbreaking thing for the Bone Stock team here tonight. But if they have a consistent 2023, they might be able to come back and win the points still. So there's still hope for that truck there but just not what you want to see here tonight. So rounding out the class here tonight is going to be a Chevy 3500 driven by Pat Carfley. An open street diesel bumping up to the hot rod class. So a respectable run put down 222.92, gonna be the distance for him, and that's gonna round out the hot rod four-wheel drive class. Here he is, Garrett Brooks, your winning run. Let's take a look at the replay. run put down congratulations to Garrett Brooks for getting that first place finish here tonight we are just kicking off this class for the 2023 season and it looks like this is going to be a barn burner all these trucks very competitive with each other and showing promises for a great summer to come thank you guys so much for watching today's episode be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already we just hit 600 subscribers we're eyeing up 1,000 before the end of summer here and we gotta get it guys so if you haven't Hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in next week's episode.